Cold Brew Chaos designed to wreck havoc. I have a straight up frightening one today. So this is a brand new four pack from High, from High Desert Sauce Company. And these are some of the hottest sauces I believe he's ever made. Uh, where are you? This one in particular, Cold Brewed Chaos, is going to be absolutely insane. So I'm going to be trying that last. But, okay, so two brand new sauces and then two reimaginings of old sauces that he's had. So this is his uh, Hotter Adobo, which is a branch of a spicy adobo. Um, I have had this as a test batch and it is delicious, but I'm not going to be talking about this sauce today. But I am going to be talking about these three. So. We have Not Your Mama's Shimoy, we have Bad Tempered Berry, and Cold Brewed, Cold Brewed Chaos. This one I'm very afraid of. Okay, I think I'm going Not Your Mama's Shimoy, and then I'm going with the Bad Tempered Berry, and then I'm going Cold Brewed Chaos. Got the description of it in here, and this is a uh, benefit set, which is very cool. And um, Zach over at High Desert, he did the benefit set for my father. My dad um, passed away from complications from kidney disease, and so, He's doing this again, and he is just the nicest guy. So if you guys are into these flavors, please pick up one of these, these sets. It's gonna go um, to the Epilepsy Foundation, and it's just gonna be amazing, so. All right, we are proud to present the next installment of our Black Label Limited Series Benefit Set. The set of four sauces includes two new concepts and two reimaginings of sauces we already produced. All of these products are of chili head level heat and are not intended to be consumed by those with a low tolerance. $15 from every set purchase will be donated to the Epilepsy Foundation in honor of those who battle with this frightening disease. Let's raise some money. So, if this is something that you are into, please pick up one of these sets. Um, it is something special. Okay, on to the sauce. Chamoy is a Mexican condiment that comes from a variety of forms. It features a tangy, sweet, salty, savory, slightly spicy profile, and is to be used in a wide variety of dishes. Not, not Mama's Chamoy features these flavors and more. We sourced the best local honey money can buy. I've had this honey and it's insanely good. Um, and added five different chocolate super hot peppers to the low brow, for the low brow sweat burn you crave. We recommend drizzle um, on your pancakes, douse your pulled pork, that sounds so good, smother a peanut butter sandwich, glazy ham, or use it as a topping for ice cream. Whew, these are gonna be spicy. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Oh man, you get the sweetness up front. Okay, the ingredients are raspberry, uh, local orange blossom honey, chocolate peppers, which are ghosts, and some pet dooglove, uh, bootloves, BBMs, and uh, jigsaws. Uh, vinegar, water, sea salt. A lot of peppers. A lot of very hot peppers in this sauce. I get the raspberries immediately. I'm not getting the honey clearly, because, but I am getting the sweetness of so the raspberries and the honey, like they're mixing together the sweetness. And then I get peppers. But honestly, the, the raspberries are hitting first. I'm surprised. There's a lot of really, really hot peppers in here and the raspberries hit, hit hard. Mm, okay. And it pours beautifully, which I love. So it's like on the, it's on the medium side of a thin sauce, like a good pouring sauce. So hot. Mm. Raspberry, sweetness, and then the heat from the peppers comes exploding in. I'm not gonna lie, this is extremely hot. If these are hotter, we got a problem. <clears throat> You're gonna wanna use all these sauces with food not straight up eat them off a spoon like I'm doing. Um, all the heat is kind of registering in the back part of my mouth, flare up, back of the tongue. It's making my mouth water. That's a new thing I've been like realizing with super hot peppers is that some of them make my mouth water a lot. This is definitely a mouth watering situation. <clears throat> Immediately reaching down my throat. But um, raspberry flavors. I'm not really tasting the super hot peppers, maybe slightly, but it's not like super unpleasant. See, the thing is with these cho these chocolate peppers, there's a lot of oil in them, and so they're just so violently hot. And this is a violently hot sauce. <clears throat> wow, um, I'm gonna say I'm sitting at a five, five out of 10 right now. 
Hot. Mouth watering. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Moving on. Bad tempered berry. God, there's like no ingredients in this. Okay. Sometimes we like to be we like to be sweet. Sometimes we like to bring we bring the heat. Bad Temper Berry is the best of both worlds. Fresh, juicy blueberries mashed up with Trinidad Maruga scorpion peppers. To bring you a flavor collision, uh, you can't ignore. Try on pork chops, chicken, and chicken and waffles, or drizzle on a slice of cheesecake for a dessert that will have you begging for more. This is working really well with extremely savory foods. Um, or sweet, that's what I'm saying, like savory sweet, like breakfast foods, waffles, pancakes, cheesecakes, great, you know? Um, so it's gonna help you with this. You want some fat to kind of combat um, the violentness of a lot of these peppers. Ice cream. Um, okay. I'm hoping blueberry should be just so jammy up front. We'll see. All blueberry. It smells like blueberry jam, blueberry syrup. Smells like it's going to be a little bit thicker consistency too, like slightly more body, and it does. I've talked to Zach a lot about like the physical body of of his sauces, and so he made this a little bit thicker intentionally. I guarantee it. I mean, it kind of needs to because I feel like the blueberry it's going to have that jammy quality that you're really kind of looking for and you want. Um, all right, blueberries, vinegar, scorpion peppers, bananas. There's that body. Cider vinegar, agave, sea salt, and coriander. Mm. Blueberry vinegar, scorpion pepper, banana. Mm. Two different kinds of vinegar. I'm interested to see how this plays. Should I bring that like tang going on? Should be pretty nice actually. Okay. Whew, cheers. Unbelievably jammy. Chamois hotter, in my opinion. Ooh, okay, there's a delayed reaction from that score, those marugas. See, this is hot in a different way. The chocolates in the in the first one, that those are adding a violence. Like, this is like a internal throbbing, that I always explain it's like a sunburny kind of thing. Like it's very angry and within you. That is more sharp. This is more sunburny. Um, different, completely different burns. I would say this is actually slightly, um, slightly more mild. Even he says it's the mild side of extra hot, and this is extra hot. I'm gonna give the leg up to this because it's a little bit more violent. Unbelievably jammy. Blueberries roaring through up top. Sweetness, so hot. Um, not really picking up a lot of banana. I'm getting the mouthfeel for. Or, sorry, I'm not really picking up the vinegar. I'm getting the mouthfeel from the banana for sure. It's really adding to that like jamminess of it. This is like a blueberry jam hot sauce. Um, wow. Man, my mouth is lit up. These are wicked hot. I'm gonna say that this is a four out of 10 on my heat scale. And that was a five. Okay, I'm terrified of the last one. <sighs> Cold brewed chaos. This one is made to hurt. Heat rating, extra, extra hot. Cold brewed chaos designed to wreck havoc. The sauce is enough for the faint of heart. Intense heat, wild flavor, and a caffeine jolt to make a chaotic ride. A tasty blend of cold brewed coffee, elderberry, and black garlic. I love black garlic. Sets the stage for the trio of super hots to bring a blast of heat that lingers. Orange peel and a touch of agave nectar. Balance out the finish. Try it on smoked brisket or pork butt. Add a dash to your steak marinade or toss it in some wings. If you're feeling a little extra crazy, try a drizzle on vanilla ice cream. Um, brisket and pork butt are really good decisions. I talk about fat and how hot sauce works with that all the time, and this is gonna be one of those things. This is just gonna be so hot. It feels like it's got some, like it feels like a, a medium to full bodied sauce. You bet. I expect it to pour. Okay. Let's read the ingredients before we smell it. Peppers, equal parts. Chocolate bootla, seven pot douglas, scorpions. Vinegar, cold brew coffee, uh, which is water and fair trade coffee. Um, agave, uh, sutter vinegar, organic, black garlic, salt, orange peel, elderberry juice, concentrate. Okay. Let's 
see what happens. Are you going to pour, buddy? I thought this was going to pour. Full bodied sauce. I'm going to say that right now. Maybe it just needs a little time to get going. Uh, that's as much as I'm doing of this today. Full body. But it still but it still comes out. You know? Just needs a little coaxing. It smells wicked. I'm actually not getting a ton of aroma on the spoon. Ah, it smells like peppers, man. It smells like peppers. Yeah. Peppers, a little bit of coffee. I'm actually picking up the coffee. That's kind of, I'm, I'm surprised I'm picking up the coffee. There's so many peppers in this. Yeah. I'm trying to compare it to something so super jammy. Yeah. Okay. I get the coffee, which is mind blowing. Oh my god, that's hot. <coughs> I am shocked I'm getting that much coffee. Awesome. It's a dark roasted coffee, not a lighter roast. Because you get in like the um, in dark car coffees, you get the, you actually taste the roasting process, and it tastes very roasted, which I think is really smart for like this style of sauce. Um, I actually get a tad of the black garlic too. This is very well made. Um, so hot! This is gonna be one of those sauces that just keeps going. It's getting hotter and hotter by the second. And it's gonna take a full 90 seconds, two minutes to really ramp up all to its full power. See, it didn't even touch my lip and the outside of my top lip is burning. It didn't even touch that. Um, so, the outside of my top lip, back of the throat, and a little bit of the tip of the tongue, because that's where I'm getting the burn. So hot, definitely the hottest. God, it's so violently hot. <clears throat> but at the same time, like, I get the coffee, which I honestly, I was not thinking I was gonna get the coffee at all. I thought it was just gonna taste like peppers. Oh, it's so hot. It's a seven. Seven out of ten. For sauce on my scale. Wowzers. Hot. Okay. Three exceptionally well made sauces. If you like very hot sauces, Pick up one of these. Oh, it's a benefit set, $15 from each set sold. Epilepsy Foundation, great cause. I'm definitely gonna be buying another set. <sighs> or buying a set, not to say. This was this was sent to me by Zach. I'm gonna be picking up a set. <sighs> so hot. <coughs> okay. In the link below. Hope you enjoyed. See you on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going <laughs> to—oh man, it's going to be great! Bye.